Now, when you look at outsourcing in a more strategic way and in a more integrated way that can add value to your organization, um, I recommend a certain way of, of, of looking at it and a certain way of figuring out uh, what things you would want to outsource. Um, and I'd recommend starting by mapping all of your core processes. And <laughs> when I say map all your core processes, what I mean is um, um, write down exactly um, what what you do in different parts of your organization. So, you know, uh, map or document your marketing process, document your sales process, document your uh, operations uh, processes and, and, you know, uh, customer services processes. Once you've documented all, all of your processes, um, then look at each aspect of them uh, from a time, cost and quality perspective, right? Um, and when we talk about time, cost and quality, um, really look at each element of your um, of your process and uh, see how long it takes you to do that that thing and not just how long it takes you but um, is that the best use of your time or would you rather be doing something else that's more valuable to your business from time perspective again similarly from a cost perspective what is it actually costing you to, to do something like that so if you're a director uh, of a you know uh, of, of a business and your time is valuable and you're you know maybe generating invoices or or you know responding to you know emails from for basic customer service requirements then you know is that the best um is is the cost of the time of your organization is is that uh, you know the, the, the best return that you're getting for it or would you rather uh, pay someone else to do it and the third thing to look to, to, to view your different processes and different aspects of your processes is from a quality perspective. Are you the best person to do it? Or would you rather have an expert come in and, and, and take care of that? You know, this, this goes more for things like, you know, um, design and, um, and web development, and accounting and things, things like that. Um, so, and this is, this is, this is just general stuff. This is not related to the way we do. This is just, um, you know, stuff, you, the way you should be thinking if, if you're looking at, uh, you know, using outsourcing in, in a strategic way. Um, so once you've mapped all your processes and looked at every aspect from a time cost quality perspective, um, and then if the answer to your, uh, to, to any of those questions is, uh, you know, no, I shouldn't be doing this for any of the three reasons, you know, either because, you know, my time isn't best uh, spent doing this or I can get someone else to do it at a lower cost or at a higher quality. Then, then look at isolate those processes and then go out and seek somebody who, who can who can do those. And when you see people um, uh, outside of your organization to do anything for your organization, that is essentially outsourcing. Um, those people could be based offshore. They could be based, uh, you know, in next to you in, in another office in the same building or you know somebody else that you know. Um, so once you've highlighted the things that you want to outsource, then there are different models of outsourcing. Um, I'll go over three key ones. One is called business process outsourcing, which is where you take a whole process out of your out of your business and you just give it to somebody else, like you know bookkeeping or accounting or something like that. The second thing is project based outsourcing. If there's a big chunk of work that you need doing but you don't want to do it in house, you take it and you um, and you give it. Uh, to, to somebody else, and the third um, um, part is more of um, you know somewhere in between, somewhere something which is ongoing, uh, a part of your business process, but not totally um, a business process. And for stuff like that, you can usually get um, VAs, uh, you know, to, to, to help you out, or you can get freelancers. And if that is of a certain volume, then you can get somebody like us to to give you a member of um, of our team who will work as your team uh, and do certain bits and pieces for you. So, um, so that's, that's all I'd like to share about um, how to go about making the decision to outsource things in a bit more strategic way.